I mean, the whole idea and the concept for your shelter is that what you don't want it doing is pointing north. What you actually then create yourself is a fridge. If you've got beer, you put your beer in it, it keeps your beer cold. I tend to build my shelters facing south with a tiny bit of east in them. Basically it's called a debris shelter. It's built with whatever's laid around, lined with straw and hair, which is a romantic idea for sleeping on, but if you've ever slept on it, it's actually not. <laughs> so when you're looking at your, your sort of first day surviving, your priorities are massive. You've got to get your food, your water, your shelter, your fire all set up. So you can't actually do any of them properly. You've just got to do little bits of everything. So you're going to create yourself a shelter that's going to improve your conditions. So say waterproof, I've never really slept in one that's waterproof. The water resistant is probably the best way. So the next day you would probably come out and sort of plug the gaps where the, dr the breeze or the draft was coming in and then you start thinking about making a, a raised floor. Cause this is going to protect you from the environment from above. Once you spend a night in one of these, it's when it's damp out here, you'll get the dampness coming up from the bottom. So you want to try and raise yourself up off the floor eventually if you're going to be out there for any length of time. As an alpha male, I want to show everybody how strong I am by lifting that up and I want to use that as my main cross beam across. And then what I'm going to do is spend the rest of the night laid awake wondering when it's going to fall on my head. It's too big, it's too heavy. Where that is perfect. All these logs here sort of interlock each other almost like a herringbone pattern and they're all sloping towards this tree so that they stick your head in and have a look you'll see how if, if one log's gone on from that side the next one goes on from the other and then it just goes, follows that all the way down. Um, it took me about two hours to build that one. So the idea is we'll split up in our sort of natural groups, build one on your own if you want or join forces and build a group shelter. some good good shelters there. You've basically built a lovely shelter for you and also a lovely shelter for all the spiders and all the bugs and everything like that. So if you can get a bit of smoky fire going on in there it'll smoke all the insects out. So you have a little, slightly less chance of getting bitten to death. You scrape, you know you want three or four meter all the way around your shelter of open ground like that because all of the bugs and insects are hiding in amongst all of this fallen debris and they can crawl in towards this to get shelter. So if you give them this no man's land, so they've got this risky area they've got to cover where they can get eaten by predators, they'll tend not to cover it, and they'll not cross it. Fox poo. <laughs> Fox poo. <laughs> Little short hairs in it. It's fairly fresh. So what you do, three or four metres out from your camp, you get a stick or a marker of some description, and when the blokes need to go to the toilet, what they do, mark the area and they go to the toilet having a wee all the way around the camp. That's why you have a stick because it's ambitious. Four metres out from this camp it's ambitious to ask one man to get one full circle all the way around. <laughs> so when he finishes he marks it with a stick then the next time somebody goes out you mark it with a stick and you get this ring all the way around your, t around your camp and you just keep going and going. If you're there for three or four days you just constantly keep that going up 
this ring of urine all the way around the camp. Because we're blokes, we excrete testosterone. And our predator animals, so your wolves, polar bears, lions, tigers, cheetahs, all that sort of stuff, hyenas, still have got that programmed into them that when they smell that scent of man, they keep away and they run away in the opposite direction. So that you get that ring of protection around your camp. You need that sort of barren area as well. Is that where the idea of a moat comes? Probably. Yeah, whether they had to get the peasants to fill the moat for them that way or not, <laughs> I don't know. But...